Nope. Hey guys, welcome to drawing prompt number 20. Woo! It's cool because it ends with a zero and people like even numbers, right? Sure. So let's see what this week's prompt is. Camera and bowl of soup. Now that's a weird combination. What am I going to do with that? Poor innocent naive past Casey. You poor, poor soul. You don't even know what you're going to get yourself into. But I have a prompt to talk about so let's talk about these sketches. So I started off by sketching a camera as a bowl of soup with the soup in the lens and it was boring. So I moved on to this giant bowl of soup where like a tour guide would be showing some tourists this art museum and maybe one of them was taking a picture of this giant bowl of soup. And then I just wanted to play around with the idea of taking pictures of your food with your camera phone because that's what you do these days. In the end, I decided to go with this second idea, but instead of having people taking a picture of a giant bowl of soup, I thought, why not make them bugs? And they're taking pictures of this glorious human food. And then I thought, what if they were actually super tiny bugs? And it was a whole museum. And then things got out of control. Had I known I was going to draw this complicated and full of detail illustration, I would have done it on a much larger piece of paper, however, I didn't think of the museum idea until I had already drawn the bowl of soup and I didn't feel like drawing it again, so I was pretty much committed. But you know me, I'm always drawing so small and it's almost a challenge at this point. How small can I draw? If you couldn't tell at this point, this illustration was very heavily inspired by Where's Waldo? It's just a mess of characters doing goofy things, interacting with each other. You never know what you're going to see. Just so much to look at. You'll always discover something new when you look at this illustration. At least that's what I hope. This prompt has officially taken the title for most time worked on because, holy cow, I worked on this illustration for a few days. Drawing and planning took a while, inking took hours, and then watercoloring every little detail. Oof. I had to cut out so much footage and sped this drawing up so much because there was just too much. There was too much going on. But you know what? I loved it. I love this piece and I enjoyed making it even though it took so long. I love the result and it's just so much fun to look at. Originally I was just going to make the ants black but I thought that might get kind of boring considering the picture is 90% ants, so I decided to sprinkle in a few red ants to keep things just a little bit more interesting. I also added a few more bugs that weren't ants just to keep things, again, not so bland. I mean, ants aren't the only bugs that like food, right? The first guy I added was the cockroach on the right because cockroaches will eat anything. A little worm guy in the center there because worms? Well, okay, we're, I don't know about worms eating, but I just wanted to draw a little wiggly worm, okay? And a few ladybugs. When it came to deciding what kind of soup I wanted to draw, the weeb inside me made that choice very easy. I feel like the majority of the soups in North America are just a liquidy liquid or just a bunch of vegetables in a liquid. And they're not very exciting. So, ramen. Ramen is a lot more interesting. You have your different ingredients set on top, placed in a certain way that is just very pleasing to the eyes. And there's just more detail to draw, so I drew ramen. I think my favorite addition to this illustration was painting the paintings in the background. They're a pretty minor detail if you think about everything else that's going on below them. However, they're so cute and they really help create the atmosphere of this being an art museum rather than just being an empty building with white walls. Of all the hours and sweat and blood I put into this piece, that egg painting in the background is my favorite part of this whole illustration. And it took all of a couple minutes. Ain't that just the way? 
I thought about making parodies of popular paintings, but I decided to come up with my own artistic food-inspired pieces for the background. Okay, I'm going to give you guys a list of ants to look for and find in this piece. Are you ready? An ant eating popcorn. An ant drinking a soda. Two ants taking naps. Four old ants with canes. One ant with its tongue out. And an ant with a camera. Did you think I forgot about the camera? Nope, the camera is hidden somewhere and you have to find it. Remember back in the day when I felt really bad for making one of the prompts really small and insignificant to the illustration? Now it seems like I keep making these prompts smaller and smaller, but they're kind of a crucial part to the illustration in their own way. Sure, the camera isn't a main focus of this illustration, but now I've made my piece interactive and you have to go find the camera. And again, these prompts are just a way to get me to draw and get me to draw things that I would have never drawn and let me tell you, I would have never put myself through this. That being said, I actually had a lot of fun with this piece. Sure, I had my moments of breakdown when I thought I wanted to die because holy cow did this take a long time, but I kind of want to make more illustrations like this. But I think next time I'll be using a much larger piece of paper. And with that, another prompt finished. Let me know in the comments below, did you find the ants I told you to look for? Also, which detail is your favorite? I think, aside from the egg painting, I really like the little ant in the bottom right corner who was just going to town on that painting. Red just splattered all over the table. He has such passion. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!